Stop saying you don't get sunburn. I don't believe it, and neither do you. I'm Jake, this is Travel Hacks, and today we're going to shine a light on holiday sunburn. How to prevent it, and if it's too late for you, then how to beat it. Tip number one for preventing is probably one that you know already, and it is wear sunscreen. Sounds like an obvious one, right? Like, it's boring. But the point is, if you still want to go out in the sun and you still want to get a tan, then sunscreen's probably the best way. The NHS page for sun safety recommends applying it at least 30 minutes before you go outside, and then again, just before you go outside. And then you want to reapply it every two hours. And then that's going to ensure that you've got the best possible coverage. They also recommend using an SPF of at least 30, with at least a four-star UVA protection. They also say that you're going to need to use at least two tablespoons because that's how much it takes to safely cover the average adult. Wouldn't recommend putting it in a spoon first, just, you know, be kind of liberal. Now, tip number two, cover up. You want to spend at least as much time in the shade as you do in the sun, if not more so. If you're going to head somewhere like the beach or maybe a pool where you think you might not have that much access to shade, just take some with you. Take an umbrella or something like that so that you know you're going to be able to get out of the sun if you need to. Now I know it's not always ideal to load yourself up with bags if you're heading down to the beach. Make sure you take some emergency cover up just in case you do burn because you're going to need to cover it up as soon as possible. Hats, t-shirts, even scarves can, you know, really help to make sure that you can cover yourself in an emergency. And tip number three is to build in some sun rest. Understand your sun time. Your body reaches a certain cutoff point where it can't produce any more melanin. So it's kind of pointless to cook yourself all day. Everyone has their own melanin cutoff, but it's typically two to three hours, but much less if you have fair skin. So in my opinion, why waste all of this time at once spending two to three hours solidly in the sun when you could spread it out and build sunrest in between? Go indoors, get in the shade, cool down, get comfortable. That's going to massively reduce your risk of burning. Is it too late for you? Do you already look like a tomato? Have you burned yourself to a crisp? Then don't worry, because these next couple of tips are going to help get you a little bit more comfortable and on your way to healing. Number one, get comfortable. No doubt you're already itchy, sore, it's got painful. So what the NHS recommends is to take some anti-inflammatory painkillers like ibuprofen or paracetamol. This is gonna help soothe your sunburned skin by reducing the inflammation. You can also soothe it by bringing your temperature down and getting comfortable by taking a cool shower or maybe um, putting some cool flannels or towels on your skin. Tip two. Get hydrated. Staying well hydrated will be essential to the healing process. You need to drink a lot of water. And if you're hydrated, you're gonna be able to dodge a nasty headache, which is the last thing you need if you're already red and itchy, sore, and generally miserable. And number three is to get moisturized. It can really help soothe the skin to keep it well moisturized while the sunburn heals. Ideally, maybe look for one with aloe vera. That's really great for skin health, but there are a couple of chemicals that you do want to avoid. The three big buzz ingredients you want to avoid are petroleum, benzocaine, and lidocaine. Tip number four. That's right, I've got a nice little bonus tip. Don't get sunburned. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but the best thing you can do for your sunburn is just not to get it in the first place. So go back to the start of the video, <laughs> watch those tips, and just make sure you do everything you can to avoid getting burned. It's not worth it. If you've got any of your own tips or tales about how to prevent sunburn or how to treat it if you've already got it bad, then uh, yeah, share them in the comments below and everyone watching this video can go down there for a bit of extra advice. Subscribe to our channel to make sure you never miss an episode of Travel Hacks and I will see you next time. Wear sunscreen.